This partnership with TTS, uh, it's been very exciting and this is a really incredible moment to get to. Uh, this has been the culmination of several years of work in design. Now my background's in engineering, I'm a civil engineer, chartered civil engineer, and I've also got a teaching qualifications, I've been teaching for a number of years. So to bring those two together in this partnership work over the last few years working with TTS has, has been a great journey. And what we've ended up with is a set of resources that allow young people to access engineering projects on a very much a basic level, but contain all of the aspects of a major engineering project. For example, we've got these windy lifts, and the way these windy lifts work is no different to the large wind turbines we see out at sea to harness energy from the wind to convert it to electricity. In this case, we're harnessing energy from the wind to convert it to potential energy through lifting a weight as a string rotates around this bit of dowling when the wind blows on the blades. And the skills young people need to build these and des design them and to problem solve exactly the same skills as we're looking for in industry with young people to create new engineering energy infrastructure such as the large wind turbines. So that's just one example of the three projects. I mean, this one here is a, an arch built like the way the Romans would have built them several thousand years ago. The same engineering principles apply, the friction, the compression, the tension, and it's not it's not a perfect structure, and we're not looking for children to build perfect structures. We're looking for children to build structures that they can develop, they can modify, they can troubleshoot, they can problem solve, they can work in teams. And they can see, how could this simple structure be taken on to be a large structure like aqueducts, viaducts, um, and what is it about the materials and, and that actually makes it work really, really well? And of course, the thing that underpins this is a whole load of maths as well. And uh, there's one thing we need to actually be very consistent with in engineering is that maths is a vital part of the engineering community. It exists in, uh, in projects such as this windy lift. It exists in the stadium arch. And the geodesic dome, which is another one of these projects, is a beautifully mathematical structure, which is used every day in, in many structures around the world. So the resources have been designed specifically so they can be delivered by specialists or non-specialists alike. We'll start off with the learning mats. We've got three of these beautifully designed learning mats. The centre circle contains the key words the children will be thinking about and understanding during their investigations. The four quarters of the mat contain information around the construction of the project, contain information about putting it together. They've got a section on investigation carrying out the scientific investigations that underpin the ideas behind the project. And finally, they've got a section, the and more section. What can we do next with this project? Where can we take it? How can we develop it on? So they're the learning mats. <clears throat> They've been designed to be also attractive to look at. So they're drawn in, the children are drawn in to look at them. And they're designed to be non-frightening in terms of engineering content. Because we do understand that engineering science does put a lot of people off, particularly if they're nervous about delivering these areas. I think they might get it wrong. The resources themselves are focused on art straws, wooden doweling, brass paper fasteners, cardboard discs, paper, coffee cups, and string, and sellotape and glue guns. They're all simple things to use in the classroom, things which are hopefully commonly there, uh, and, but they do turn into some really nice engineering projects. To support these and to make sure that the teacher is well supported, make sure you're well supported on these, we've got a video of each project and how it's put together, and that can be used with your children. I've also got a PowerPoint slides, which can be used. And the, one of the biggest <coughs> factors of this is the careers element, because all of these activities are what are done by people in real life as well. They all lead into careers. So it's important that part of the activity, the discussion is around careers, making the most of the activity. We've built this wonderful arch. Who makes that kind of thing happen in real life? That's the question the children will be asking afterwards. And the PowerPoint slides and the information are there to help you understand that and to translate that information to the students. Yeah.